Hello friends, welcome to Advaita Academy. So today's video is all about Indian history. So I'll be covering about the earliest people and Stone Age, mainly concentrating on Paleolithic Age or the Old Stone Age. So image, you can see an image of a uh, early man over here. So he has one stone tool in his hand, okay, and there is a fireside scene. So let's get started. So these early men, they were hunters and gatherers. So their food source were animals as well as the plant products. So they hunted animals, fish, birds, and even gathered fruits, nuts, and seeds. So these were their sources of food. And we know that the animals are very fast and they even they are strong and special skills were needed. Like uh, he has to be very alert and quick in order to catch these animals because it was the it was source of his food, right? And they used to face such problems. And even these uh, plant products they they used to be seasonal. Some plants bore fruits only in one particular season. So because of which these people, early people, they had to move from one place to another place. So let's look at the reasons why they kept moving from one place to another place. See, we all lead a settled life now, right? But these people, they used to move from one place to another place because they used to eat up all plants and animal resources in one region. So what happened? There were no food resources left after that. So they had to kept moving to another place. So that was the one reason. Next, so they, they used to follow the animals uh, which were their food source. So when a particular animal, it, it moved from one place to another place, even these people shifted to that particular place. And as I told, some uh, plants, uh, products like uh, fruits and vegetables, they are seasonal. So once they are over, they had to go to other place in search of food. And we all know that water is very essential resource for human being. So in search of water, they used to move so these were the reasons for their movement so they led a nomadic life so i, I told that these animals which is a food source they are very fast and even stronger to hunt them it is very very essential to have some special tools and some animals some wild animals it might also like come and attack you right so they needed to protect themselves so for this they developed some uh, tools and these archaeologists uh, they told that these tools which were used by early man they were made up of stone wood and bone so this image you can see right various stone uh, tools they are shown and you can see how sharp it is right so this can be used to hunt animals or uh, to kill the animals okay so why the tools were used as i told to cut meat and bone of the animals and scrape bark chop fruits and roots basically uh, to help in processing their food items so to cut the food like meat as well as fruits or roots so this was used and these stones they were also attached to bone and wood and to make spears like uh, arrows and spears for hunting so for uh, this thing uh, for hunting purposes so to attack animals they were using these uh, tools okay stone tools and even chop wood uh, for firewood so this slightly it gives us idea that this early men paleolithic people they knew about fire okay so which were the ideal uh, sites for uh, stone making or tool making and what were the methods so let's see that see sources of river they had these river uh, banks it had very fine uh, stone deposits okay so this became their what factory sites so these stones they were found on the river banks and tools were made from them and this this was called as factory site and some factory site, it became habitation site. Habitation site in the sense, they used to stay in that place and even they used to produce 
stone tools okay and how these stone tools were made there were two methods stone on stone and pressure flaking stone on uh, stone in the sense one uh, sorry one stone it is uh, used to uh, give a proper shape to another stone okay uh, they were kept on top of each other so that is about stone on stone pressure flaking in the sense one hammer kind of thing is used and it is beaten upon the uh, stone which has to be made into a tool so with that will remove some extra particles and it will give the sharp edge so this is this can be used for hunting animals so these are the two methods that are used to make stone tools okay so next one what happened is after some time there was change in the environment so temperature increased because of which many grasslands so grasses grew and this increased the number of animals okay like uh, deers antelopes all this okay all these goats uh, they started uh, increasing so what happened is he started learning about their food habits food habits of the animal and uh, as well as the breeding so slowly this led to the domestication of animals as well as uh, what uh, about domestication of animals and then uh, he observed that the some of the seeds it can be grew into the plants okay so he started uh, collecting those seeds so this led to the agriculture okay so this uh, it will start during the middle stone age which we will see in, our, in my next video okay so stone age is okay early uh, period it was divided into three things early phase that is old stone age middle stone age and new stone age so old stone age this is the earliest period and it is also known as paleolithic paleo in the sense uh, stone and lithic is age okay uh, so I'm sorry paleo in the sense it is old okay paleo is old and lithic in the sense it is stone okay so it means old stone age and it started uh, from 2 million years ago to 12,000 years ago and this is a very long period and it has about most of the history of human being is recorded in this period okay and it is divided since it is very uh, long period it is divided into lower middle and upper stone age okay upper old stone age then i told that some environmental changes took place at about 12000 years ago so that is the starting stage of middle stone age it is also called as mesolithic age and the main feature of this mesolithic age is the tiny stones so this stone quality it improved in the middle stone age and they were called as microliths okay so next came new stone age so new stone age onwards there people started living a settled life like us with animal husbandry agriculture and all that that we will see in our next video so it started from about 10000 years ago so that is about the new stone age okay so next we will see about uh, the paleolithic uh, sites. So Paleolithic sites, it is Bimbedka. So Bimbedka, it is in uh, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. So here many rock shelters were found. So these people, they used to take shelter in the rock. So because uh, if weather is bad, if it is raining heavily, so they can and to protect themselves from wild animals. So they used to stay inside these rocks. And next very important thing is Hunski. Hunasagi, it is uh, a place in Karnataka in Yadgir districts. So here lots of stone tools were found on, on digging. So this is also important. It might be asked in the examination. Next is Kurnul Caves. So Kurnul Caves, it is in Andhra Pradesh. Okay. And here ashes were found, okay, in Kurnul caves. So this tells us that this Paleolithic man, he had idea about the fire. So these are some of the important Paleolithic sites. So see, this history or the ancient history, it is divided into various phases. So in the initial phases, we will be looking at to, uh, into the old uh, Stone Age, new uh, Middle Stone Age, New Stone Age, and some civilizations like Harappa and Indus Valley civilizations, and some uh, um, king about some kingdoms. So these things I will be explaining in my um, upcoming videos. So keep watching. So thank you guys. Subscribe to our Advaita channel to get latest updates about KPSC, KS and other competitive examinations. So thank you. All the best.